more Folsom Lake International Triathlon. Tell me about it. Absolutely, and what a beautiful day out here. It makes you almost want to get in the water, but these are triathletes. These people have really trained. Joining us now is Bill Driscoll. Tell us about the intensity of this because we've had three heats already going into the water. They're coming out right now. The swim is what gets everybody so nervous because they are usually a little bit afraid of the water. Yep. It's tougher out there. So to get that done first really gives them that boost of confidence to go get on their bike in the run. All right. And so this whole course, tell us what these athletes are going to have to do. They're swimming a quarter mile in Folsom Lake. Then they've got a six and a half mile bike ride on the roads out there. Then they've got a two mile trail run around the shores of Folsom Lake. Now, I heard you telling the athletes earlier, like, hey, the wind will be at your back on your bike ride, and it's all downhill, it'll be easy. It, this is tough. It is tough. Try to give them a little positive motivation at the start. <laughs> They're all a little bit tense and, and worried, so I try to give them some good thoughts to take with them out there when they're racing. Now, I heard you also talking. There are some first-time triathletes out here. Yes. A lot of people hesitate to get into the sport of triathlon because of the swim. Right. So with only a quarter mile swim, it brings out a lot of first timers that are going to try to conquer that fear. It's a good time to give it a shot. Yes, yeah. definitely. Now, you also have some very young triathletes. We've got um, probably our youngest triathlete today racing is 14 years old. Wow. And uh, your most mature? <laughs> we have always at least one or two 70 year olds out yeah. here racing as i get older you know that's really not that old it's not <laughs> it's a sport for everybody there's someone out here that represents all age groups now let's talk about conditions because for someone like myself standing on the shore this looks perfect the water looks not quite flat but but pretty nice we got lucky that wind that was really whipping through yesterday stopped so the waves are not rough um, the bike as I said, they'll have wind at their back the whole yeah. way. Let's see. How was it? Was it good? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Got to give them that encouragement. Okay, so again, what do you think this will all wrap up? Is this quite a day for these folks? This is just the first race. We've got another one starting at 8 o'clock, and they'll be going almost twice as far. Um, a mile swim, 24-mile bike, six-mile run. Whoa. So we'll be out here till about 1 o'clock having fun with the triathletes. But I bet everyone's relaxed after. <laughs> they are very relaxed after. When they got their finisher medal and their race t-shirt, they're ready to have a good time. You have people coming from all over to this. This is not just locals. No, we've got nine states represented out here, all the way from New York, Utah, Tennessee, Michigan, Indiana, all over the country. But we got our local Cali folks, too. We've got some really top triathletes from Rockland right racing today. On. Well, oh, we we wish them all the best of luck, but obviously we got to root for our home team too, right? Yes, thank you, Elisa. <laughs> Thanks uh, for having us. But again, a beautiful day out here. You couldn't get a better day out here. But let me tell you, looking at these people coming in from the water, wow, a lot of work. Way to go, you guys! Back to you guys. Go out there, come on. Are you?